are juicy, multiple amounts of fall for bowling break recipe, today's special on Mary Kitchen has been on the best for you. This benefit held for over two years and also a variable count has been married for 21 years with a certified financial planner and an elderly client counselor and just really enjoys his life with his wife Molly. Please welcome Mark Lowe.
pure impurities and that from, from wherever they come from. Right. Um, and then what I do is I have like a, a malt, I put a little bit of salt, pepper, and I have a little like a, an everyday seasoning that I like to use. Okay. And then uh, I put some lemon on, wrap it up in foil, and a little bit of uh, a little bit of water in there just to kind of steam it. And then you put it in the oven for 350. Okay. Or so, 250, 220. Low and slow, right? Low and smooth. So, you know what? I'll get you to season. So here you go. Don't be shy. Get the, get the oh, okay, that's good. <laughs> Okay. Now you're just going to put sprinkle a little on both sides. Okay. Yep. Yeah. No, we're going to use that for the other side. Oh. Okay. Now you're going to take your hand and just pat it down. Now do you have pepper around here? I pepper? do. It's somewhere there. <laughs> somewhere. Somewhere there. Yeah. If you just open up. Um. I think it's behind my salt. Okay. So I'm not, oh, there. Both by the bin. Do the same thing. See, this is something that the couple can do. Something that you can do. That's a couple. Yeah, yeah. Or it's never. Yeah. Oh, no, never ever done the first date. Well, the third date. Then. Third date. You're more comfortable. And then what I have is I have from Trader Joe's. It's um, mm -hmm. in the States. That's why I can't wait to see it opens up. It's just a multi-purpose season in their house. So. Mm -hmm. Onions, spices, and, uh, orange peel, and that. Okay. Okay. So we hit that. But I always like to have a paper towel underneath just because it catches any moisture on it. You don't want it dry. Yeah. Well, why do you want it dry then? I don't understand. Um, you just want to get rid of that uh, little bit of blood and that bit on there. Okay. You get a little more salt. A little more salt. Sometimes people are a little afraid to use salt. Oh, I love salt. I try salt every day. Even before I taste it, I like salt too. Well, you should always taste it before you salt it. Just in case I'm not. Just in case. Just in case. Mary, ask the audience who's tuning in right now. Comment something. If you guys are tuning in, please let us know. Okay. Yeah, got that. Yeah, salt and pepper. And a little Trader season. Just a little multi purpose spice, right? And again, you want to just pat it down. Okay. okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. Now, mm -hmm. the rest of your salt down there. Mm -hmm. so, the yeah. on. so, the next thing I like to use is. Um, I like to use uh, like a tenderizer, but you know, the salt will tenderize it, uh, but I use a lemon. So, lemon's a tenderizer? Well, because there's an accident. Okay. Right? It helps break down the connective tissue. I didn't know that. <laughs> you know, so, you just want to just kind of slice it. Say hello to Susan Leonard. Hi, Susan Leonard. Thanks for tuning in. Now, when you use, when you cut, Always try to put your knuckles up. A lot of people will go like this and then they wonder why they lost the tip of their toe. Right. <laughs> Have your knuckles out and then your fingers tucked in. Yeah, because yeah. you want to rock it. Right? Okay. So, I, just because I like to have my, uh, to keep the mask down, you can do two things. You could use a, like a deep, like a dish. And then just cover it with oil, and then just put a little water in. I like to just wrap mine. So I take some foil. I'll take a little longer than the rich. Okay. And just do it. Mark, say hello to Brenda Maxwell and Terry Swadinsky. There you go. Yeah. Hey, Brenda. Hey, Terry. Where's Brian? Where's Brian? Exactly. Where's yeah. Brian? <laughs> Probably banging on the skin downstairs. <laughs> okay. So, you're going to do the next one. Okay. Right? So, you put this, you put it roughly about just a little bit because you're going to flip this over about three quarters because you're going to make like a pouch. Right? 
And then I take, there's nothing wrong with using a bottom part. If you're just using it, it's flavor. Like a brine has flavor. And then all I do is I just do this, put it up. And then, just, um, we're going to make a pouch. I'm and going then to use just a little glass. Yeah, you want to take the last one. You're going to go like this. Okay. All right. So again, try to make that color, right? I see. So take that over. Take that over. And just pour a little bit of water in here. So we can make the idea about a dish pizza, right? And then just roll it over. Okay. Right? Water, you can use uh, apple juice, even. Okay. So yeah. broth, you use broth. You can use broth. The idea of, uh, of using another liquid, like a flavored liquid, to draw more of that flavor, right? Right. That, put the pot just off to the side. We're going to probably need this after. Nice when you got a big space here. Exactly, yes. I may have some space behind this stuff. Exactly. Let me wash my hands again. Okay. 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 Okay, now. Okay. So then we're going to put that in the oven at uh, 220. Okay, I'll okay. do that. Okay. 220 for how long? Uh, basically two and a half hours. So two we're going to have some hours. fun. We're going to go outside and catch, uh, <laughs> catch some rays. Have some water too? You <laughs> so the next thing we got, I make uh, two barbecue sauces. I have a whiskey based one and I got a mustard based one. We're going to make the whiskey one first. Okay. Reason being, we got to steam it for about, um, we got to uh, cook it for about 20 minutes. Okay, so we need a third of a cup of whiskey. Okay. And does it have to be whiskey? Brown water? Well, it could be whatever. You can use your Jack Daniels, you can use, use that. This one I use the whiskey based one, just because. Right. Uh, so I need, uh, I think it needs a one third of a cup. One third of a cup? Uh, one third of a cup. Okay, this is one third of a cup. One third, okay. Yeah, I turn it on. Uh, do it about a medium heat right now. Okay. Because you're going to burn off the alcohol too. Right, okay. okay. Now, the other thing is, is Martha Stewart. Okay. Martha Stewart says if it's good for, uh, if it's good to eat, or if you're using it to cook, it's also good to drink. You know, I heard her say that too. Okay. You never want to use cheap liquor. And when you drink wine, you always want good quality exactly. as well. So, I have here, I got the Jerome. Oh, for Jerome. So, uh, if you want to, I do with some ice here. And I use this fever tree. Um, it's called Smoky Ginger Ale. If you look at the numbers, it's a lot nicer. So that's for you, Jerome. Thank you. Here, cheers. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So, we got that. We now need um, a quarter cup of red wine vinegar. Now, if you didn't have red wine vinegar, you can use white wine vinegar. So this is a third cup again. Uh, so it's just no, a quarter cup. cup. Oh, a quarter cup? Quarter cup. Okay. Oh, quarter cup. Yeah. Yeah. 
in different parts of the, of, uh, the United States, we'll be here. I'll just try to do something possible. You use um, different, uh, use different, um, um, what do you say, uh, influences. Urgent went down south to Texas. Mm -hmm. And they're really big on roots. Everywhere you go, you But they're roots. sloppy. Like they like have lots of sauce. It's very softy, correct. Okay, and now I need a tablespoon. Mm -hmm. Tablespoon. I need three tablespoons. Mm -hmm. Oh, right here. Right here. Right here. Okay. Yes. I'm going to use some vegetable oil. Okay. Um, I can smell what we see already. Got it. That's a, a bourbon base one that Crown Royal. They put it in a, a, a bourbon cast when we, when we store it. Uh, vegetable oil. I'm going to use. Uh, uh, hang on here. Uh, two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. Is it olive oil? Uh, well, I'm using I'm using olive oil. Okay. You could use avocado. Um, kind of whatever you, uh, whatever, you whatever you have on hand. Whatever you have on hand. It does bring a different flavor profile. And now we're going to use brown sugar. Uh, we need two tablespoons. So even if you use a half tablespoon, we just pop this to the side here. Okay. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. Yeah. Now, well, you know, if you don't have brown sugar, what you could use is um, granulated sugar and use molasses. And that is brown sugar. I actually heard about that too. But sometimes you sit here and say, "Well, I don't have all this stuff, or I don't want to buy it." Mm -hmm. We bought molasses. We bought molasses for one. We've had two can of jars of molasses for twenty years, and then you realize, well, it's expired. <laughs> you use it only once per recipe. Okay. Exactly. Now, three cloves of garlic. Do I like this more, or do I just let it burn? Uh, no, you have to stir it up. Okay. I like to use my garlic. I still store my garlic in an old fashioned way in a brown paper bag in the cupboard. Why is that, Mark? Sorry? Why? Um, this doesn't dry out. But then you bought through the years, we bought all those uh, um, different types of containers, but it's still the best. And you don't even need to store your garlic in the fridge. I, I know some people that store it in the fridge, but it actually makes it um, go bad faster. Yeah. Yeah. And then it makes it sprout. Yeah, yeah we store it in the uh, we store it in the cupboard. Oh, or maybe four cloves of garlic. Yeah. Which one do you get? I'm taking my glasses. I only need glasses to go with sea salt. So. Mr. Rooster. 
but I was the rooster in the hen house, I kept saying to the girls. <laughs> sort of like at the gym, too. I don't know if you used to be one of the only few guys there. And, uh, mm -hmm. It would be nice to have some men to come and join us. But even in this photo, Mark, you, you look chubbier yeah. than the other picture, for sure. And then the facial hair, I did not recognize you. So that was a week of living with no um, modern amenities. So it was quite interesting. And it was, was it a culture shock for you? Well, you, you. Did you have a toilet? We had outhouses. Outhouses, okay. I, I know I will shower. Full showers. showers. Was it bucket? Uh, wow. Full showers, yeah. Outhouses, um, no cell phones covered. No lights? Did you have lights? Uh, or did I think they had portable generators. Okay. Okay, we could turn the heat down. Okay, I'll turn down I actually moved like that to Mark. I was in Asia, three separate times, and we were in Cambodia and we moved in the area. And you know, areas. it was interesting like because yeah. a lot of us came, you know, we come in with the premise of us here, the big Canadians that have it all, we're going to show these people how to live. And they actually show us how to live. And it's more important things in life, just enjoying it. Right? Well, what about cooking, Mark? Did you cook out in Honduras? Or they, they had a cook for us, except the one day is when I helped make the models. I see. Yeah. And did they have you make a, did they have you make a cider? Mm, well, they, they already had it made. They had it made, okay. It was pretty fun. It's a lot of work. Oh, for sure. What were you doing? There was, there was a surprise. I was visiting so. family in Cambodia. Oh, so I was visiting family in Cambodia and um, traveled all across the entire country. And uh, it was very, it was not modern at all. I was living in a house on stilts. And uh, to, to have water and heat, you didn't have to make a fire mm -hmm. uh, to take a shower. It was in it, like the front of the house, but uh, you could see the bucket over your head.
The thing with cooking is you don't have to have exact motions. Baking, you need the exact motions. Oh, I know. Baking is fine. It's not to be perfect. So just stir that up and you want to do, make it to a light boil. Light boil? Yep. Okay. So that's one. The next one we're going to make is a mustard paste sauce. Okay. A mustard paste sauce comes from, uh, from the Carolinas, north or south. One's uh, North is more of a vinegary base. No, we're going to use uh, just that shape of things. Oh, okay. And then uh, south is more of a mustard base. And they have to do with immigration in the United States. And then in like uh, St. Louis and Kansas City, they use uh, the molasses base. Right, the sweeter ones. Yeah. And in Texas, they like to mop it up. Okay, two. So we're going to use three quarter cup of mustard. Three quarters of a cup? I think I need to do some dishes now. So, Wash them. No problem. Or you bought you eyeball it too. Okay, let's eyeball it. Yeah, eyeball it. So actually get a get a one cupper. Okay, here's a one cupper. Okay, here's a one cupper. Because we need a quarter cup of uh, apple cider vinegar. Now the nice part is, is that when you make this, you can store it at home. Let's go three quarters. Okay. 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 Just put that in here? No, no, we'll, we'll use the vinegar because then it helps uh, um, in the spoon off. Right. right, okay. And then apple cider vinegar. This is always good for you to use a quarter cup. So then you can only know it's just going to mop it up there. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna get you to do it. There you go. You're the chef here. Let me know. Another chef, I don't have to This is the second portion of the sauce. This is the second. The second sauce. Yeah. First one was the whiskey base, and this one is a mustard base. Yeah. I like the mustard base because there is uh, less, in theory, there should be less sugar because you have it in in your ketchup and stuff like that. Right. Now, if you were trying to be following the, the keto diet, you just use like sugar free stuff. Right? Yeah, sugar free mustard and stuff like that. Oh, now let's turn it down just to simmer, please. Hawkeye over there is going to catch that. Okay. So, uh, you got a tablespoon, I think that tablespoon that we use for the brown sugar. So this one we're going to put three tablespoons. One, two, three. Okay. Okay, so now I need a half tablespoon of paprika. Or just even regular paprika. Susan Leiter wants to know. Can you also do them on the barbecue with low indirect heat? You can do them on barbecue. You're just still going to be cooking them on You can use it on barbecue and do it there with low heat. And the barbecues, it doesn't matter which system you use. If you use uh, propane. So on the barbecue, do you have um, I still put foil in it because the idea is you want to trap the juices, right? I see, okay. Right? Alright, let's say we keep cutting away, cutting away. Um, half a tablespoon. Okay. I've never actually made bread in an oven before. I've always used a slow cooker because I wanted it far off the bone, but this way will do too. Yeah, well, what happens is it makes it drier. You could be using a, an oven. Like if you use a slow cooker, the moisture is staying in. Mm -hmm. Okay, half teaspoon of Worcester. Uh oh, sticking your on your apron. One, one <laughs> teaspoon. Yeah. Oh, one teaspoon. I'm always getting known for that. That's why I never wear a white shirt. <laughs> okay. Now, say you had someone come over that had a seafood allergy or a fish allergy. So one tablespoon of ketchup. Um, if you had a seafood allergy, 
you would uh, use Tabasco and a little bit of sugar instead of Oyster. I did not know that. Oyster has iron chilies. Exactly. I like Cliff Clavin. I got all a bunch of stuff you can run in. And just seal it up. <laughs> Do a little dance, have fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just shake that up. And you could keep it overnight. You know, let the let the sauces mingle. Yeah. How long would the sauce last for? About two weeks. Two weeks? If it lasts more than two weeks, you're not eating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get that garbage. Okay, so we're done now. Perfect. And then how long will the first sauce take? For this? Yeah, about five, ten minutes. About, about ten minutes, minutes, minutes or so. So okay. we'll just put it on uh, low now. Okay. Put it on two then. Yeah. Okay. So I guess you just want the alcohol to burn off. Right? A little bit, yeah. Okay. You still want to get that flavor right. on there? Okay. okay. So that is, well, we've got to sit down and wait for two hours or two and a half hours for our ribs. And we also have a salad to prepare as well. We'll do a salad. You okay. want to do a salad now? Salad. Let's rock it up. Okay. So this is really simple. Okay. Uh, we're going to do a basic, you know, like we did the rest of Greek salad yes. that we had a few weeks ago with um, the guy from West. We did the moussaka. Oh, yeah. The moussaka. Moussaka. Yeah. moussaka. Yeah. So this is the same idea. Now you could throw in um, lettuce or tomato lettuce. You're so for crunch thing. Okay, so we're gonna use tomatoes. Okay. We have cherry tomatoes. We have cherry tomatoes. Okay. So uh, these bowls. Mix it in. Mix it up. All right. So, take your carrying knife that we pull into the knife plate. I think it's a dirty one. No, it's going to be a one. It's going to be a one. Um, Just uh, something with a sharp point because you've got to crank it, right? It's a sharp point. So, what I want you to do is you're going to take it, and all you do is just slice it through. And you want to let it kind of rest for a bit. Probably put a paper towel because what happens is. Uh, tomatoes can be kind of runny. I see. Okay. Right? So, just in the side, just toss them over. Just toss it there? Yeah. Okay. I can okay. do that pretty much. No problem. And, and it's actually it's easier when you just do the soup. I saw this on uh, Rachel Ray, because I watched Rachel Ray on this. You just put these on, is it two lids? Oh, two yogurt lids, and you can just slice it like that. Yeah. That's like really good. It idea. is, but I don't have two yogurt lids right now. But if you want to take time, Mm -hmm. And like you said, Mark, you can do this on the date. This could be a wife, husband, team. Yeah, it's always a good way to start a fight. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> You're doing it wrong. <laughs> you know, you're making a mess of the edit. You had to go cut like that. <laughs> and then we're just going to cut up the cucumber. And slice it. We'll slice it. Uh, well, this salad would probably be quite a bit of us. But it's also a salad that you could have after. Right, right. So. And it also depends on the chunk. Like, you could use a tomato, take like a whole tomato. Right now, there's always cherry tomatoes in the stock. I actually like um, cherry tomatoes because I find it tastes better. Mm -hmm. and I actually have a friend right now who did that uh, that live lettuce that you get. Yes. And he planted it in his garden and it's grown amazing. Really? It's funny you say that because I'm doing that too with my live lettuce. I've been saving my scraps so that I can grow that or regrow it, I should say. So I've done that with lettuce, mm -hmm. uh, green onions, where my own tomatoes are. Um, it's just for fun, right? Yes. I don't want to get my socks because oh my god, clean this up. I don't want to get my socks dirty that aren't your neighbor. Your new gift? Yeah, my new gift. I'm an awful 
Okay, so we're using a whole yeah. English cucumber. Yeah, whole English cucumber. Is it two now kinds of tomato? Okay. And then just take off the Now, how do you like your onion? Slice, or do you like it? Like red onions are used for salads. Right, right. right. You want to use red onions, onions for salads. Exactly. It's better when it's raw. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Because also the vinegar will sweeten it up too. Right. If you do it nice and fine, make sure you count it after you cut and make sure you don't put finger in something wrong. <laughs> If it tastes good, if it tastes good, it's bad for you. If it tastes bad, it's good for you. Exactly. So it's a, it's a, how much do you want? Do you want them all? Well, we'll do it all. Why not, right? So the other just want the color. And it doesn't matter what you choose because that would be a little bit of a right? No, I love all of these. Right. <laughs> okay. Um, that, 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 okay. Good. And we just have, sorry? Okay. Well, the feather goes 
the map. Are you like that? Crumple or, or chuck? Oh no, he's sending for the rate. Perfect. How are we doing for time? Perfect. Perfect time. Honestly, I'm not talking now. <laughs> then I think it's going to dry, right? Maybe a little pepper. Mm. 
Boom. Okay. So I think we should go and sit down now for two hours because we've got to wait for the drink. Okay. Let's get a drink more. You get a drink? Do you have your coffee? I'll get my water. <laughs> Yeah. So I should take off my shirt and go outside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and go inside our kiddie pool. Cheers. 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 You're actually supposed to look at each other in the eyes when you cheers. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, yeah. you don't. It's yeah. bad luck. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. So, you want to try Wayne's World? Yes. You want to watch our studio? Yes. Okay, let's go back again. So the idea is, is that the, the low heat helps break down the connective tissues and that and kind of gives them a cool that gelatin. Right. Okay. Okay. Now, if you had a grill, right? You have the uh, the oven. You could use your uh, charcoal. You could use a wood pellet or the Traeger or whatever you might be able to use for it. Um, you can uh, use uh, propane or you can use natural gas. It doesn't matter. It's what you feel comfortable with. So what I do is when I'm doing it at home, I'll use a pan. Now, just because I don't want to clean. I get yelled at because I always have to scrub it. I always put parchment paper. Parchment paper. Okay. Parchment paper is a process. And then you just kind of go to that. Scrub it up. Okay. Yeah, 
So don't forget, we've got the parchment paper on there, so we don't have to worry about seeing that one. Right, okay. Right? Okay. Cool. We didn't use the black, but let's just one of the black. Okay. 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 Eat whatever after hot dogs or parasites, hamburgers and such. And then a oh, whiskey one. A whiskey one. Next stop out there, champ. There we go. Oh, okay. There you go. Oh, 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 there we go. Nice. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And they're all different, right? Like some could have a little more ketchup on it, some, you know, it's all prep preference too. Okay, it's not the bad enough. Oh, yeah. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Why not? <laughs> there you go. Okay. All right. So, now uh, does that, uh, does the beat make it ready? It's ready. It's ready? It's ready. It's ready. It's ready. It's ready. How long is on the road for? Well, until it starts going a little brown. You don't want to go black. If it goes black, it means it's going to go too long. Okay. It will smoke really fast. Yeah. Okay. 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 If you uh, do it on the barbecue, you can get the barbecue to keep the sun up from up the bottom. So there's some people do that invert. I do. They put it off to the side. Okay. Not that I'm in. That's perfect. That is perfect. And now we want our water. <laughs> Did you want the whiskey in that there? I haven't actually drank in over four years, Mark. Okay. Not by choice, but I just got pregnant and then I was breastfeeding and I just mm-hmm. got pregnant again, breastfeeding right now. So I just happy. take off every two months. <laughs> I think I, I took on I took, for June. I took on June. Yes. It's amazing when you do it in the summer. People look at you like you're crazy. They look at you crazy when you do it too. But now, so next time I think I'm taking off in October. Because then I there so I can focus on just focus. Right, right. Yeah. But don't you feel better though when you're no. not drinking? Well, because what happened, you know, it's gotta uh, snack it too. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I think we're almost done. What do you want to smoke now? Uh, why? Well, just a little bit of bubbling, right? Bubbling. So, you know, you can see it's starting because the fat's kind of starting to cook off, right? Yeah. And that, that is basically what we're going to do. I think we're, we're good. How often would you have this meal with you and Sonia? Probably maybe once a month. Or once so. a month? Yeah. Something like that. You know, it's funny that you're making ribs for this because I just have been asking you know, ribs to make ribs and make ribs. He's been asking me for about two weeks now. And I said, yes, yeah. I just haven't made the ribs. Yeah. So it's perfect oh, timing that we were making the ribs go. for this weekend. <laughs> yeah, no. Well, I already wanted me to make uh, like, uh, meat soup, which is fine. But it's a little more fun. Yeah, more fun. The problem is, is people want to make ribs, but they don't want to do it. Uh, Do it on a day like today, you've got to sit for two hours yeah. in there. Well, there's no sun like that. Exactly. It's already up to you. Well, I'm glad we made ribs because I actually didn't know how to make ribs that way, but because of the memory and seeing yeah. her doing this, and I didn't know it. It's just that uh, those little things that take it from good to awesome. Perfect, yeah. And that's what you want to do, right? Mm-hmm. Those little, little things you have to do. Doesn't take long. Yeah, she's good. She's good. Yeah, she's good. So 
let it sit for a bit. It still cooks while it's uh, out. Right. Uh, we'll need uh, just two plates. Two plates? Yeah. We'll do one in mustard. We all have tomato soup. Let a tomato out there in your throat, or in your belly. Side of it, too. Can you turn it over? Like when you uh, when you cook them on the on the grill. Mm -hmm. I don't because it just you don't want to just put it on the grill. Right, right. And so, do you have dipping sauces as well, or you just need it? No, I just need it. You could you theoretically you could use that sauce. If um, I don't know, I just... It's not very sauce. Yeah, it's very sauce. It's a little I guess if you've been not a date to a silly date, you can't date, or you've been married for 21 years, then knock yourself out. Knock yourself out. Right. Well, remember, this is a third date, and you're yeah, not a least, first date. Yeah, so. Well, <laughs> if you really want to cut the kid's face, then go into a first, right? Well, it's funny, when Arjun and I first had a meal together, our first meal was burger and fries, burger and fries, at 3 in the morning at Sandy's. Oh. Yeah. It wasn't a salad, it was burger and fries. <laughs> so, yeah. We went there for, for Christmas food or something, right? For your first meal together? Yeah. I love Indian food. Oh, yes. We actually had Indian yeah. food on our show. Uh, uh, was it last week? Uh, or no, two weeks ago? Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. We had, um, we had um, Sima. We had Sima. Oh, Sima got filled with the last week. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, 
the idea is slow and slow. You can't screw it up. The Lord, the, you know, the Lord is slow and slow will not overset the man. Right. Now, how far is it down, right? Mm -hmm. You know, because the idea is what the, the fat and the connective tissue, especially on top of meats, right? Is you have to go low and slow. If you get short ribs too, you gotta go low and slow. You know, on a steak and that, where there's less fat, you can go, you know, it's a quick cook. Right. And that, and then you're good. Thank you, Mark. Hi, guys. <laughs> 